as a treatment for pelvic pain and uh, including vulvodynia. Um, as we've said before, if patients uh, fail with medication, uh, if it's not effective or they get significant adverse effects, there are minimally invasive pain management procedures that we can use and this is one of them. Um, for the procedure, it's done under image guidance, uh, so we use x-ray and the sacral nerve roots are essentially the, the nerve roots, the big nerves which come out at the base of the spine, uh, but these are in the sacral area. Um, for the vulva, um, this comes from the S2, S3, S4 uh, nerve roots. We will bring the patient into hospital, usually as a day case. Uh, li they, we li lie them flat and we x-ray the uh, sacral area um, and locate those nerve roots, uh, all the foramen, the little holes where they come out from, from the sacrum. Um, we'll clean up the area with antiseptic, a little bit of local anaesthetic in the skin, and then we'll uh, put a very uh, thin probe down to uh, the uh, relevant nerve roots and instill a solution. And the solution will have long-acting local anaesthetic and a steroid preparation. Long-acting local anaesthetic is essentially for comfort, to make it less uncomfortable afterwards, and the steroid is mainly doing the job, which is, which is an anti-inflammatory medication, which will uh, reduce any inflammatory activity in or around the nerves. Um, the main benefit of the procedure is pain relief. It takes about 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Uh, risks failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort. Um, the main issue is nerve damage. Uh, thankfully, that's vanishingly rare, uh, but we do have to uh, warn patients about neuropraxia from any sort of procedure like this. Um, generally, this procedure is done in hospital and it's done under some light sedation uh, to make it more comfortable for the patient.